My name is Ramona Tumlin Rucker and I am the project manager for BJC. We are building a new link. The purpose of the new link is to bring what I call the back of the house where all of our employees, staff members, team members park to their final destination, which is their workplace. The link will start at the children's garage and connect our new staff member garage, also connecting the Duncan Taylor garage and also connecting the Metro garage. The link is about four stories in the air. The link is approximately 1,200 feet, bringing folks from the street and pedestrians off the street onto the link will create a sense of safety. You'll be protected from the weather. There will be security, which would include CCTV cameras, which will be monitored by our public safety department. It is card accessible, so it is safe for our staff, our students, and our team members. The new link will reduce the possibility of pedestrians crossing into traffic or the possibility of traffic crossing into what we now see as pedestrian crossings. And it's gonna be great for us because Taylor is one of our busier streets. We have the Metrolink track, we have Metro buses, we have shuttle buses, we have one of the busiest intersections here than we have any place on the campus. My name is Arno Sandoval. I'm the uh, senior project architect for KAI Design and Build. Uh, we are working uh, with uh, Peric on the uh, BJC Link project. We had to work uh, very closely with our partners and subcontractors to figure out a way that we could basically reverse engineer the construction of the link and do the construction off-site as separate components, separate pieces that we would then bring to the site and at that point assemble them and erect them in a quick and timely manner without really impacting the site as we know it. If we were to traditionally build this bridge, we would greatly impact traffic, the users, we would be shutting down existing facilities. So with that in mind, we had to think about how we could do this without impacting the end user. We're building our structures virtually in the computer before a contractor even puts a shovel on the ground. You actually get to experience what it's going to be like inside of this bridge as you're walking along before the bridge has even been built. It certainly will be usable by October of 2016 where our pedestrians can come into the link and safely cross at least into the point of the metro garage. But shortly thereafter, they will be connected into the existing link system. You'll have the ability to walk in a connector that's safe, well lit. You may even have time to talk to some friends along the way. And again, you're gonna be four stories in the air. You're gonna have a wonderful view of our entire campus.